Right, this is hand scissoring a Shih Tzu Lhasa. Same applies. I've sadly already done the top line, which I start here and I come right the way down to the back base of the tail. The amount of hair you take is easy enough to see. If you don't clip down to that undercoat, you get a nice finish. And you basically pick up around about, you can see where the shadow line is, and if you just trip off that length, you get a nice, smooth, even finish. Coming round to the tail, and even the top of the tail. Come on, baby. There's a good girl. Stand still. And you can start at the back of the neck under the ears and you can see where I've already cut is basically the guide that I use to come along the whole dog. And basically that's how you do the side. Come along, even round to the side of the leg, and then you can start under the neck. Put your head, babe. This is a bit rushed. Stand still, baby. If you sort of angle the comb just slightly forward now, you get a nice tummy line. You can then carry on down the front of the leg. Excuse the dog barking in the background. And then basically, all you do with the back leg, lift the tuts. I actually haven't done the hygiene on this, I just wanted to do a quick video while we had the time. Round the tootsies off. Put your fat up, babe. It's a good girl. She's a bit leg shy, she doesn't like having her legs lifted. And then Brush the hair outwards and just go round in an arc on the back leg as if you were doing a poodle leg. My scissors are quite blunt actually. Had I been going to cross, they would have got sharp end. <coughs> then you basically get the line that you're going to clip, or oh, sorry, scissor. Right round the line. And again, same thing with the foot. I'm going to have to try and go underneath so I'm not in the view. Just a little bit. And then pull the hair down you've missed. Top of the foot, pull that hair up, round it off, put your head down babe, pull any hair upwards and you can see the bits that are too long. Again, come round in an arc, or depending if they want the straight leg, take the bolt off. And then, starting at this point, come 
come down the arc of the tummy. I'm just going to come over here and try and do it without. Uh, You can see now the bits that have been left behind. Just layer them in. Just to get that nice curve. Hope my head's not in the way. Hey, Come on. No, turn around. There's a little girl. start on the inside of the leg and I go quite tight because t this area tends to be the area that gets the knots and the tangles. No, no, no. And then from there, blend in downwards and then come back. Is that still baby? Hold the leg back. Look from here and slowly come round. Ah, 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 ah. Good girl. No, 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 no. No. Come round in an arc. Will you stop pulling your tootsies? I'm using the top of the toe as a guide. And it should meet up reasonably with the. Ah, da, 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 da. Now, enough. With the first line I did. And then. Come on, this way. Off the. Head up. So people can see. Your beautiful face. And I can catch those little bits there. And then I can go down and meet the line on the stomach. And carry on with that arc. Quick leg down, stand still. And then I pull the hair outwards. Up. Nobody can see with your head in the way. Come on. Right, I'm just going to come around this way again. Nice to 
I don't know once it's done. No, don't do that. I always give them five minutes running around on the floor as well when they're finished. Just take that off a sec. again. Chin up. Again, I'm only cutting out the top straggly bit. looking through the front legs I can see where I need to cut right. so that basically is one side of a hand, um, hand scissor dog 